All right, hi everyone. How's everyone doing? Uh, welcome to the Christmas cocktail. Uh, so in following with the tradition we started on, uh, on Thanksgiving, we're gonna uh, be making a little specialty cocktail here uh, for, for the holidays. Uh, we call this one uh, a, a white Christmas mojito. So it is a, a take on a, on a Cuban classic. Uh, and you know, let's, let's get into it here. Uh, first of all, ingredients really quickly. Uh, you're gonna need some white rum. Um, I'm using uh, Havana Club today, uh, so it's kind of an homage to the roots of this uh, of this drink. Uh, then also some coconut rum. Um, I chose to use uh, Cruzan coconut rum. Uh, this is actually made in the U.S. Virgin Islands, so it is a product of the U.S. Uh, and a really good uh, rum. Um, and you can use whatever you like, Malibu, uh, you can use Bacardi White, whatever. Um, you're going to need fresh lime juice. I just got the fresh squeezed lime juice from, uh, from the grocery store that's in the produce section. Uh, this works great. Um, we'll need some coconut milk. Uh, I like the canned coconut milk. Uh, it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of flavor. Um, but if you want to use uh, like one of the coconut milks you find in the dairy fridge, whatever, too, that's fine too. Uh, some sugar, just a little bit of sugar, just plain granulated uh, sugar. And then uh, pomegranate seeds, or pomegranate uh, arils um, for uh, Little crunch, little color, um, and because it's a mojito, we of course are gonna need some mint, and then just a little bit of uh, soda water, just plain, not flavored uh, soda water, all right? So, uh, gonna need a shaker. If you don't have a shaker, you can use a tall glass, too. Um, you're gonna need a muddler, all right? Uh, if you don't have a muddler, you can actually use just like a, like a soup spoon or a tablespoon, too. Uh, it works well. Uh, for muddling, um, and uh, maybe something uh, with, with which to measure, um, a jigger, uh, so you can make proper measurements. Um, yeah, let's use that. All right, so here's what we do. And of course, if you don't want to uh, buy the store-bought juice, you can always do it the old-fashioned way and actually squeeze fresh lime. All right, so here's how we do this. Uh, because it is a mojito, mint is a really big part of this, so let's uh, put in a lot of mint. Um, I'm going to give you the recipe for one cocktail, but I'm actually, what I'm making are two cocktails. So if you see me doubling up, it's because I'm actually making two cocktails. So do as I say, not as I do. All right? Um, I would do maybe like five sprigs per drink, because uh, you, you want the mint to come through. I actually like even doing a little bit more because I really like that mint flavor. Um, but about five, five sprigs per drink here. Uh, should work should work pretty well. So just combine all that uh, into into your glass, into your cocktail shaker, whatever it is that you're using here. All right. So we've got mint. Uh, now what else we're going to want uh, here at the beginning is we're going to want a little bit of sugar. Um, I'm doing uh, one teaspoon of sugar for for each uh, drink. So one teaspoon. All right. Um, and then. We want a little bit of lime juice here. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do a half ounce of lime juice uh, per drink. All right, now take your uh, muddler or your spoon, or whatever, and you wanna give all this a good muddle. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna mix everything in there too, and it's gonna break apart those, uh, those mint leaves, and it's gonna release the, the, the uh, essential oils, and uh, you're gonna get a lot of flavor, a lot of, uh, a lot of aroma too out of that fresh mint because we're releasing all those essential oils. So just give that a good muddle. I mean, if you want to cheat and you have one of those little bullet blenders, throw this all in a blender and just give it a zip too. All right. So we've got that muddled down well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the other ingredients, the alcohol and the uh, coconut, uh, coconut milk. So we're going to do um, one ounce of, uh, of the white of our white rum. Um, so once again, I'm doing two ounces because I'm making two drinks here. Then we're going to want to do a half ounce of, uh, of the coconut rum per drink. So uh, once again, I'm doing one ounce here for the two drinks. All right. Um, and then we're actually going to want to do two ounces of uh, the coconut milk, all right? And now uh, there's no ice in, in, the, uh, in the shaker here. We're just shaking it so we can really combine everything really well and make sure that it's all combined and mixed, okay? So just give it a good shake. 
And like I say, just when you think you're done shaking, shake it some more. All right. Let's fill a couple of glasses with ice here. And uh, don't, don't skimp on the ice. You, know, you, want the you want the glass to be nice and full of ice. Whoops, man down, man down. We are iced. Ice is nice. Let's just give it one last little shake. And then because we want, we want all the, the bits and pieces in here, we want all that, uh, all that mint that we muddled, we're actually gonna take the top off. We don't wanna strain it. We just wanna pour straight into the glasses. Beauty, look at that. And then just uh, give it, take a spoon and just give it a little quick stir just so we kind of mix that mint all throughout the glass there. So it's not all in chunks and... Alrighty. And then, as with any mojito, you want to top it off with a little bit of soda water. So, a little soda water here, and it gives it a really nice froth on the top, too, with the coconut milk. A little soda water. And then we're going to take some of our pomegranate arrows. And we're going to toss those there on top. And some people call these seeds, but they, they, are, they are edible. So, it gives it a nice little crunch, too. And then... I like to take the very top of the mint sprigs and then use that as the garnish uh, for the for the drink too. Oh, whoops! There we go, and there we go. And of course, uh, I made two drinks because it's no fun to drink alone. All right, so look at these beautiful, huh? Enjoy, everybody. Happy holidays. Cheers. Holiday joy coming your way. All right, uh, we will post this. There'll be some ingredients uh, added to the ingredients list so you know what's in it and uh, enjoy. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. All right, I'll see you on the next holiday. Bye.